que en el alma su cariño me guardé No tengo tiempo de pensar en el honor Que fui perdiendo desde el día en que me quedé Tras de la puerta soy osando por su amor Que sepan todos que me duele su dolor aunque la vida no la viva junto a mí Y a quien lo hiere le declaro mi rencor Y a quien no ama la bendigo desde aquí Que sepan todos que por él yo soy capaz De ser amiga de la que ayer me lo quitó Porque es más fuerte que mi orgullo mucho más Saber que existe quien lo quiera como yo Hello everyone and welcome. I'm not sure if you can see me, I can't see you, but thank you for joining us today. My name is Caitlin Elwood and I am the Associate Director of Regional Engagement for the University of Oregon. I cover the Northern California region in our normal times, but fortunately um, I can see you all or be with you all today, um, wherever you come from. So thank you for joining us. Jessica Zapata um, will be our facilitator today. She is originally from Mexico and founded Eugene Arte Latino to share Mexican culture and traditions in the United States. ELA's mission is to promote the values of Mexican and Latin American traditions in a warm and vibrant environment in the Northwest of the United States, using alternative spaces such as galleries, small businesses, public spaces, schools, universities, and virtual presentations. EAL presents a monthly program, including art workshops for children and adults, music concerts, art exhibitions, and festivals. We will include a link to the organization in the chat. I think Lauren already added that. So if you wanna learn more, please click on that link. And now I will welcome Jessica to get us started on our project for today. Hello, everybody. Welcome, bienvenidos. Uh, it, it is a pleasure to be here today. Uh, I am from Mexico. As, um, I do like teaching a lot of art and I'm very involved in Eugene, Oregon. I live here and I do a lot of arts and crafts with children. And I do have a group for Latino moms as well. And I also do art, artists and residents in the schools. Um, I also am a teacher. So I'm teaching a Spanish in a high school and I do love incorporate art to, to the classes, to the students, because I feel it's important that we learn how to use our hands and use our uh, things to relax our mind and more, more and more and more in this time that we are living. It's super important to create art. Today, uh, I, uh, I'm super happy to share with you one of the crafts that are very popular in Mexico and they are becoming very popular as well here in the United States. Uh, we are celebrating arts. Uh, thank you so much University of Oregon for inviting me to, to teach this class and thank you everybody for coming today. So we are going to create a project that is called Milagro and I create a presentation for you just to, le to learn a little bit more about what Milagro is. So Milagros, which is a Spanish word for miracle, are small amulets used as votive offerings in Latin America, Spain, and some other countries in Europe. The idea behind a milagro is that it is a physical representation of prayer. 
for example, if someone is experiencing a pain in the leg, a milagro in the shape of a leg will be attached to the rope of an altar for the saint during prayers. And as you see here in this picture, these are milagros made of silver. Uh, some of them are metal, but commonly you will see those made of silver. And each one represents a pray that you want to do. In addition, a milagro can also be utilized in prayer of thanks. Inexpensive generic tin milagros are often sold by church vendors, but many craftsmen will create costume more detail. Detail ones of a variety of materials. This is another example that you will find out normally outside of the churches or there are specific places that are called Tiendas de Milagro, a store of milagros where you can buy those. One of the things which makes Milagros so remarkable is the fact that the tradition has endured for over 2000 years and although these folk charms are most classically associated with Catholic prayer. They have been an inspiration for artists all over the world from all sorts of religion backgrounds. Uh, here is an example of how people is creating the Milagros now. This is mostly with metal and pictures of Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera. And this is another kind of milagro, milagrito, that you will see in the churches. Embroidery is super popular as well for the milagros. And this is another kind of art you will find in different arts uh, crafts markers in Mexico. This is another image of Frida Kahlo as well. And this is made of metal, metal and paint. And I did decide to choose Frida Kahlo because I do admire her art. Uh, Frida Kahlo is an icon in Mexico and I am from Mexico. I do like her paintings and I love visiting her home. Uh, where she had her home in Coyoacán, Mexico. I lived around that area for a while, so it was very common for me to visit La Casa Azul. It's a beautiful house in Mexico City in the south where Frida Kahlo lived, and she had a, a house paint in blue, so it's super beautiful. Kahlo is one of the most recognized and celebrated artists in Mexico. Frida Kahlo was born in Coyoacán, Mexico in 1907. And if you are not very familiar with Mexico City, Mexico City is here in the center, over here, one of the most small uh, states, cities in Mexico. Frida Kahlo had a great influence from Mexican folk art as well as surrealism, realism, and symbolism. So this is an example of her paintings. She, she created her own portrait. And you also will find a lot of black and white pictures that uh, showcase her working. So the heart of Milagro represents love, healing, and gratitude as well as lodging, passion, and worry. It is the most common image offered in shrines. Uh, this has, these are more examples of uh, Milagritos that you will find, the different kinds you will see, metal, like silver, uh, wood, also in wood, metal as well, with a lot of Frida representations. 
uh, Frida for one reason, uh, she always had a lot of influence and she really liked to, to paint about uh, hearts. So you will find a lot of the paintings with Frida Kahlo with hearts. And she had a very sad <laughs> life and uh, that is represented in her paintings. But uh, artists in Mexico do use a lot of her images to create uh, crafts over there. So this was an example more or less of what we are planning to create today. Um, I think you all received a message with all the material that we are going to use. Um, I will show you something that I create. So you can see more or less what we are planning to do today. So you, you should receive pictures of Frida Kahlo. Also, you should receive uh, some hearts. And I think that's it. Uh, maybe a uh, uh, Robert, uh, what else was? Okay. Everything that you receive today, we are going to use it, but I also have some specific stuff that I have in my home that I use for that, for the project that I would like you to see. So I have, first you're supposed to have this and also this. And we are going to use some coloring like you can have some colors, crayons, or color pencils. Anything will work. Also, watercolor. But I do have a sample that something you can create with the material you receive. So I, the first thing I do is like color. I use to color everything in the heart. And when I'm happy with my coloring, I'm going to start cutting one of the pictures from Fida Kahlo. Any that I like, we have four options. So you also have four hearts that you can create. And I decide to use this picture for this heart. Okay, so I glue everything. And then with some cord, I also doing something, I, I would like to use this for my Christmas tree. And I also using some of them, I do have more examples that I, that I create. I do have this example and I'm hanging those in my door in one of the, my bedroom door. I also use this for that and Another example I have is this one. This is my son. He's right now 12, but I grabbed this picture because I really like this picture. So this is going to be my, um, to separate the, the have a, what is the name, the book in the book. So I use this for a bookmark, okay, as well. You can use any picture, you can use Frida Kahlo's pictures, or you can use one of yourself or one of your family. And this is another thing that I'm going to use in my, in my tree. So I'm getting ready for my Christmas tree, mostly. Okay. Uh, do you have any questions for me before we begin to do the project? You, you can type in the chat.
So you you are not seeing the pictures that I'm showing you. Uh, La Laurin, can you tell me if you see the hearts? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Jessica, I can see them. Okay. Yeah. It's a. Okay. It's, I we see, can see yours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Muy bien. Good, good. Thank you for letting me know that you are seeing that. Excellent. Okay, so now we can begin our project. If you have your material, I think you receive a link. You have a link where you can download all the material and print that. If you don't have that, we can, we can start, if you have a white paper, we also can start doing our own design. Okay, this is one of the hearts that we we send in the link. But if you don't have that, please, please, please feel free to create your own design and start working in that. Also, if you don't have the Frida Kahlo pictures, you please can use any picture from yourself or from your children's. a family member that you love. Okay, normally these are like the amulets is something special for you. Okay, and that's why if you wanna use a specific picture from your family member, please feel free to do it. And right now I will begin coloring mine, okay? I'm going to leave this as a sample. Okay. And you start working. This is very relaxing. I will maybe select the colors that I would like to use because I am from Mexico and Mexico is so colorful. I love color. <laughs> I do love color and I, I show that in my works normally. And uh, Ray, uh, Caitlin, there is a question if this is going to be recorded, but I don't know. Yes, yes, it will be recorded. And I think we'll email it out to everyone who registered maybe in a couple of days after the event. Great, thank you. So if you, you feel like, please type in the chat, where are you attending from? What, which city or which state? I know there are some people from, from here, from Eugene, and some people from California and other places, but I'm not sure where, where you are right now. Portland, great. Muy bien, muy bien. Oakland, California, California, Venicia, California, Los Angeles. High Desert, April Valley, California. Nice, nice. Pasadena, San Jose, California. Santa Ana, San Gabriel Valley, California. Nice, nice. Seattle, excelente. Okay, so it seems like a lot of is we are from all around the Pacific. <laughs> Berkeley, California, nice. Wonderful places. And uh, feel free, you don't have to complete your work today, but please feel free to share a picture when you finish, share a picture with us so we can see your final project.
Thank you. Uh, yeah, I, I do like this marker too. These are my sons. <laughs> I'm borrowing those from him. He, he really likes to color a lot, so he has different kinds. And these are very good for the small areas that we have over here in this heart. By any chance, someone of you speak Spanish? Jessica Torres, muy bien. <laughs> bien, I don't see too many uh, of you. Yo también, María Aguilar. Muy bien, María. Bienvenidas a la clase. Qué bueno que están aquí. So this is also a Spanish class for you. <laughs> you can practice if you don't speak Spanish. You can practice Spanish over here. Please feel free to ask. We can, uh, we can practice Spanish. Poquito con la familia, Araceli. Muy bien. Margarita Martinez también. Muy bien, Sandy Díaz. It's nice. Nice to see that people speak Spanish. Bienvenida, Paula. Muy bien, Rachel. Sí, es un placer, es un placer para mí compartir. It's a pleasure for me to, to share a little bit about my culture. I'm a, I believe Mexico has a lot, a lot to share with the world and uh, art is one of those things like, I hope you have in the future, if you haven't, to take the opportunity to travel and I would recommend you 100% to visit Frida Kahlo's house in Mexico City. It's amazing, it's amazing. San Bernardino, California, people from San Bernardino is here as well. Davis. Uh, Ana Maria Davis speaks Spanish, habla español. Muy bien. Yeah. So what, what, if you know Frida Kahlo, what do you like about her? <laughs> if you can type in the chat. Bienvenida, Araceli de Guayabitos. Conozco por allá también. So just share with us what do you like about Frida Kahlo? ¿Qué les gusta de Frida Kahlo? Nos pueden poner en el chat. Robbie, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much, Frida Kahlo. Always is a, a good, good events about Frida Kahlo's projects. Muy bien. Cynthia de Nayarit, también tu papá. Bienvenida. Welcome. Su surrealismo, de surrealismo. Muy bien. Frida strength and creativity throughout so many advertising. Okay, yeah. Adversities, yeah, that's true. Her talent was amazing. Her pictures, the story of her life and how she overcome his disability to become such a fabulous painter. Her love affair with Diego Rivera. Yeah. She loved Diego Rivera. Que era una chingona. They live their life of her terms on else. Bienvenida, Ana, de la Bahía, que estás en la Bahía. Bienvenida. I love her life story, her art, her strength, and unique individu individuality. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing what you like about Frida.
Thank you, Cynthia, for sharing the information. You're welcome, Kate. Bienvenida. Heidi, do you have any question? You, you can turn your microphone on. You're welcome, Holly. Thank you so much for coming to the class. Laurin, can you see can you see the the word that I'm doing in the screen? Yes, I can, Jessica. Okay, thank you. And if people are not seeing that, they can go to the top right corner in their view and change it to um, gallery view, and they should be able to see both. They are pinned and spotlighted, and should be able to see both you and your work. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I think speaker view is better. Speaker will show the two pins of her. Gallery will show everybody. Okay, I will. I will get this a little bit closer that way. Uh, Cynthia, is that okay that way? or a little bit closer. I hope that is fine, that is fine. But for for the people who came a little bit uh later that I explain. I, I did create some projects so you can see the final projects more or less. And I was explaining that I create different ones because I do hang some in the, uh, in the hangers of my doors. And I do also create some for the Christmas tree. So if you have beads, if you have like uh, different uh, material in your home that you would like to use, please feel free to use it. Uh, use your creativity. Uh, you can use anything you have around your home. I normally like to work with recycled materials with my students. So normally I try to look for little things in my home. And I do also create this, that is a bookmark with a picture of my son. And this one as well.
Thank you, Carolina. Rachel. Ah, you are doing a repujado, Rachel. Nice, nice. That's great. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. Thank you so much. The printer didn't work for me to print them out, so I drew. I drew my own and then I'll fix it. But your patterns are amazing. I love these. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. The, are you using like the like the thin uh thin material or or you are using foil? What are you using? Um the tin that I'm using is 36 gauge tooling aluminum. So uh -huh. It's a little bit thicker than aluminum foil. Yes. But you could use if you have aluminum foil and you have like cardboard from a cereal box, um, you can put that over and you can do the same effect. Yeah, yeah. For like kids, because this is really sharp, so. Yeah, yeah, and you are, you are kind of creating some of the ones you can buy in the Milagritos stores and yeah, they are super tiny. They are very tiny because uh, you normally go and hang those in the churches. They are like, like kind of the, your nail that is small that is small uh-huh i've normally the more artistic ones you can buy and they are bigger but yeah there's a church in goyacan um that has a lot of milagros hanging on the wall um throughout the church it's like in the in the uh parques gemelos there's like so many milagros and then there's a case with them and they're just amazing yeah, it is uh, one of the things I do love uh, when I to do when I go back to Mexico. I love to go to the churches specifically because I like the milagros. And it is amazing to just access to those spaces where they have uh, on the walls, they hang the milagritos, but they also have candles and the, how they, the shiny thing when you access to, to that area is amazing it's beautiful the i don't know the impression when you get there is like wow uh brenda flores uh if you didn't get the material when you enroll there you in the email you receive there is a link where you can print the material uh, if you don't have a printer at the moment, I suggest you to maybe, if you have paper, any paper that you have around your home, you can start creating one of these hearts. I will leave those over there so you can maybe start copying those. And later on, you can print the material when you have the opportunity. And also the link is there for the people who doesn't have the material and want to print them. The, the link is in the chat at the moment. Thank you, Laureen. Of course. De nada, Brenda. You're welcome, Brenda. Thank you, Rachel, for letting us know that you are an art teacher. Nice. I hope you can create this project with your students. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please feel free to share this with anybody. Everybody, please feel free to share.
I'm very thankful that even though we are having a hard time with this with this COVID time, I'm super happy that we can meet virtually. It's, it's nice to see and it's nice uh, to get together with people from all around. In the chat, uh, Lauren just added the email where you can maybe share with us when you finish your project. You don't have to complete that today, but as soon as you complete that, it will be nice to see everybody's work. Please feel free to share. The email is included there in the chat. It's engagement at uoregon.edu. And Rachel, are you going to add color also to, to your project? Do you have the paint to, to do the? Um, I use, with students, I use Sharpies because it's alcohol based and okay. it, colors onto the, uh, it colors onto the tin. And then I also, if they're really responsible, they can use the alcohol based paints or enamel. Okay, nice. And then with the, uh, with the, if they use the side that's not shiny, they can just use regular color markers and it'll color. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Nice. Nice. Thank you. How everybody's doing? Como van? Sandy, how are you doing? Bien, muy bien. Very relaxing. Yeah, it's very relaxing. I feel that I should stop speaking <laughs> because I don't want to take you like your relaxing time. This is relaxing, yes. <laughs> Elizabeth, muy bonito. Thank you, Sandy. Muy bien. Pam, how are you doing? Nice, nice. 
Thank you so much, Roby, for your comment. I'm very happy that this is good ray for your work. Yeah, it is, it is uh, one of the things I do normally to be with my classes when I'm when I'm teaching bit with my class and I do create art and normally it's embroidery because it helps me to relax. Also mm -hmm. coloring helps me a lot. Well, this has been wonderful. And um, I really, really appreciate you sharing um, this. I've never seen Milagros done this way. And um, Every time I attend a, a class, um, I learn something new. So I really appreciate this. This is wonderful. It's about one of my most favorite painters. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, Ms. Zapata, I really appreciate your time. Thank you, Roby. Yes, thank you so much. I really appreciate your comment and I'm I'm very happy. It's like I think with uh with art, you just need to leave your imagination go everywhere and just create, create and create. It's mm -hmm. it's important to help our mind to to be free. And that's in I general. think art also helps us realize that we have more in common um than we think and that um everybody's artistry is a little different, but it still brings us all together. Yeah. So I um, I love these projects and I'm glad that um, I actually saw this on Facebook. And as soon as I saw Frida's picture, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I have to find out what this is about. <laughs> so um, I do have to leave for a meeting, but I really want to tell you that this was worth every minute of my time. So thank you. Thank you, Roby. I send you a big hug. Uh, have a wonderful day. And thank you. Please share your art with us, okay? <laughs> okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. ¿Cómo vas, Jessica Torres? Déjame ver si puedo ponerlo al fin. Ya. Yeah. Mira qué bonito color. Wow, that's a beautiful color that you choose. Muy bonito. <laughs> Gracias, Carolina. Thank you so much, Carolina. It will be nice that you can share that with everybody. Yeah, and, and the good things we have, we have the, the link for the material. So please feel free to share. The more the merrier, Dirian. <laughs> Carolina in Denver. Wow, nice.
I don't, I don't know if everybody celebrates, but uh, in Mexico on May 10th, we celebrate Mother's Day. And if you wanna use this as a project for a gift, also for Mother's Day, and you can, you can do it. Please feel free to do it. I also laminate everything because I was planning to, to hang this in my, in the tree, in my Christmas tree. And just to preserve this, if you wanna laminate everything, you can do it. But if not, you also can have a background, a colorful background paper as well to preserve this more. Margarita, ¿cómo vas con tu proyecto? How are you doing with your project, Margarita? So we have a lot of people today from all around. That's nice. Thank you so much, everybody. Again, I appreciate your, your time and I hope you have a wonderful day today. We do have seven more minutes for the class and I will let you know maybe five minutes before the class ends. And Margarita almost done. Good. With all the all the project all the four projects or just one, Margarita. <laughs> just one. Yeah, I haven't complete. I'm still working in the first one. Jessica, I have a question. Um, in the materials list, they mention ribbon. Do you have an example of one how, with how you may use ribbon? Uh, I didn't have the ribbon myself, but okay. I did use this uh, cord. Yeah. Can you see this? The green? Yes. Uh -huh. This is the way I will use the, the ribbon to hang, to hang my, uh, my Milagro. 
that way. Yeah, and also like this. It can be on the top or it can it can go in the bottom as well. Uh, for the bookmarks, I will put that on the top. Bien. Sí, uh, somebody's asking why they are called milagros. ¿Por qué se llaman milagros? So they are called milagros because normally, uh, as I mentioned at the beginning of the presentation, uh, this is a like, uh, this is more from the religion. Like when something is happening to you, if you are sick or you, you want to ask for a milagro, you go to the church and you have a milagro. You take the milagro and pray that you get better. Uh, Normally, uh, in, in, in our country, in Mexico, a lot of people is uh, Catholic and very believer in, in milagros, I would say, in, uh, in miracles. So this is why they are called milagros, because normally if you pray, you say, I want to get better and bring your milagro to the church and uh, magic thing happens and you get better. Yeah, praying for miracles. Mm -hmm. Gracias, Elizabeth. And now uh, we do have only two more minutes. I don't know if you feel like, but if you feel like uh, to share your project in your screen, you can turn your camera on. You don't have to. But if you like to share your milagro, I can pin you and maybe we can see your project if it's okay for you. Yes, if you feel like, please, please do it. Muy bien, Jessica. Muy bien, Jessica. Gracias por compartir. Thank you so much for, for sharing. Gracias por compartir. <laughs> Excelente. Who else would like to share? Anybody, I, I will look for your screen and if you want to share, I can pin. Okay, just one moment. <laughs> pin. Muy bien. That's repujado. The project you are doing is repujado. That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. Gracias. I do have another one over here. That's beautiful, Rachel. Muy bien, María Aguilar. Thank you so much, everybody. Excelente. Uh, I will add more pins. <laughs> Leslie, beautiful, Leslie. You are outside. That's so pretty. Nice, <laughs> nice. Okay, we do have more. Sandy, do you want to share your and Pam? Pam? Ah, that's so beautiful. You Did you wrote a poem? You are the life. You are the life of my heart and my soul. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Sandy. Thank you so much. Now, let's see Pam. Nice. You are you are creating the same as I. <laughs> Thank you, Pam. And I let me see if I see more people who want to share. I'm going to check over here in my screen. Muy bien. 
thank you so much everybody for, for coming. Has been a pleasure to be working with you. And in the chat, we have the email with the information where you can send your, uh, your project. It would be nice to see everybody's. And Katie, do you have a... Gracias, Sandy. Gracias por venir. Thank you so much for coming. And hope you can continue creating art. Lisa, please stay in touch with the University of Oregon. They will have more projects, so hope you can join. It has been wonderful to be with you today. Gracias. Gracias a ustedes por venir, Jessica. Mucho gusto. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much, the University of Oregon, the engagement program for, for creating these opportunities for everybody. Thank you so much, Caitlin and Laurin, for, for working very hard in this project. Gracias, Maria Aguilar. Qué bueno que vinieron. Thank you, Dee. Thank you so much. Gracias, Miriam. Thank you, Miriam. <laughs> well, I will be happy to see your projects for sure. <laughs> Ah, yeah, Leslie, yeah, Frida Kahlo had a, a nice dog, and those kind of dogs are called Cholos Quinklis. They don't have hair. They don't have hair. They are like widow, <laughs> widow hair. So it's, it's kind of weird looking, but they are super beautiful and very smart, very, very smart dogs. I had a neighbor that had three of them in Mexico. So it, it is interesting to see them. <laughs> Gracias, María. Sí, voy a esperar a que me compartan sus proyectos para verlos. Me imagino van a salir preciosos. Cada, cada, cada persona tenemos nuestra propia creatividad. Me imagino que van a salir muy lindos. Gracias por venir a la clase, a todas. Yeah. Ya. Okay, so we are about to end the meeting. And uh, thank you so much. Again and thank again. you, everyone. <laughs> Have a good day. Bye bye. Bye. bye.